Good evening everyone and welcome to the video. This video I'm gonna be showing you a new feature that AWS Lambda has released just yesterday. Uh, the Essentially the article or the topic is AWS Lambda function URL built-in HTTPS endpoint for your Lambda functions. What does that mean is they have released this feature where you can use Lambda. They essentially give you a custom endpoint where you can use this Lambda to essentially as a webhook, right? Which means, uh, for example, when something happens, you want to trigger it, right? Event-based stuff, right? Or you can just want to trigger it through a simple HTTP endpoint. You can even do that. They have given this feature and I'm about to show you uh, in this video. I'll be reading one paragraph, uh, as you can see, posted on April 6th. Today is April 8th. Just just two days back, right? AWS Lambda, uh, AWS Lambda has announced a Lambda function URL, a new feature that makes it easier to invoke function through an HTTP endpoint as a built-in capability of AWS Lambda service. You can add function URL to the new existing function in a single click from the console or in a couple of lines with AWS CloudFormation or serverless application model. Function URLs are ideal for getting started for building web services on Lambda or common tasks such as building webhooks. Okay, what do I mean by that? Uh, I will show you shortly. Uh, so hopefully you guys can see my screen. I am on my AWS management console. I have a very simple Lambda. I am printing in on the event here. As you can see, there is a tag called new. Uh, this is the new feature that they have released. I am gonna delete it so I can show you. So they have just released this two days back, right? So if you come to your canvas here, you can see function URL. You can click on info and read more about it. They have uh, details here, but let's try to uh, create one. So I'm gonna click on create function URL. I would select none for here, and then I'm gonna select save. This will give me a URL to invoke my uh, AWS Lambda. I copy the URL, I paste it in Postman. I can pass whatever body I want to. And here I'm saying Somil Shah is the best. I'm just pa passing some body. I remember you can pass headers as well. Uh, so all that stuff you can pass. I'm gonna invoke this Lambda. And we got back hello from Lambda as you can see. And if I go back to the code, uh, over here we should be printing event. So now I'll go to the monitor section and I would love to show you the logs on CloudWatch. So now let's be patient where I can show you the logs on CloudWatch. Uh, it's very amazing uh, because now you can rapidly build webhooks and, and, and components with Lambda because now you can generate endpoints and then invoke your Lambda with simple REST protocol. Uh, but uh, yeah, so let's uh, fire this up and here you can see, um, here is the body. As you can see, sawmill is the best here, you can see that. I'll try to put this in a JSON formatter so I can show you things a little better. So as you can see, every request has uh, following attributes. Uh, so let me close this one. So you'll have a version, you have a route default, draw path, you have a header. So uh, where the request came from. So as you can see, uh, here as you can see, uh, it's coming from Postman, the user agent. Uh, so essentially all the headers, application, JSON, you can see that. Uh, request context, if you wanna read that, it would give you uh, details about the request context and in the bodies where you have the payload. So now developing applications and uh, microservices are really, really easy. Of course, um, you know, for if, you're, if you need something more robust, you need an API gateway and Lambda, but this feature also works, which allows you to essentially have function URLs, as I said. You can come and read more here and you can explore more on, uh, on their documentation. So if you come to function URL, uh, they have stuff written. So I'll leave all the documentation links in the description. So hopefully you guys can check that out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this was useful. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, you know, as I said, right, uh, things are changing very rapidly on cloud every day. Something new is coming in, right? It's, it's sort of hard to keep a track of sometimes, but I like learning. I love learning. And during my free time, I, I love to explore, read articles and blogs. Thank you so much for today, for joining in this video, and I hope to see you guys in the upcoming next sessions. Thank you.